What is going on everybody? Dan with Gear Focus here and today we are talking about how to take dope product shots at home. Let's get it. Intro! Okay, so we're gonna be talking all about how to do product photography at home. I'm talking about like basic product photography. We're not really gonna be touching on lifestyle photography at all today. We'll do that in a separate video, but today we're just doing basic standard product photography. And in order to showcase this, we're gonna be using three different objects that I had here in my house. The first thing is this watch that I got from Movement a couple years ago. I have this bag of instant coffee, this Tioga Rise coffee is a client of mine. And then I'm also gonna be doing my Gear Focus hat. I'm wearing a little bit of a different hat today, so I'm gonna be using my Gear Focus hat as a prop. These are obviously three very different things, so hopefully we can make this work. Oh, and one more thing, to throw another wrench in this plan, I'm gonna be shooting on my EOS R with my trusty 24 to 105 F4, as well as my 50 millimeter 1.8. These are very, very affordable pieces of gear. I'm not using super high-end, top-of-the-line gear here for this, so I wanted to just show you guys that you can do this with some pretty basic stuff. So the first thing I wanna talk about is branding, and we're gonna be using the watch for this example. Now, whenever we're shooting product photos, we wanna think about what is the point that we're trying to get across here. Based on what I know about movement as a company and this watch that I've owned for a couple years, I'm gonna kinda of format my photo around an EDC or an everyday carry. So I'm gonna grab a couple things from around the house and I'll meet you down in the photo area. Okay, cool. So we are down in our photo area and I have this flat black table that I got from Ikea. I think it was like one of their like $5 side tables or something, but I really like to use this table for flat lay. So I have all of my stuff here. I have my cameras, I have my watch, I have all of my props that I'm gonna be using for my EDC scene. So let's go ahead and uh, start arranging some stuff on the table and see what we can get. What do you think, buddy? Does the flat light look good? What do you think? What do you think? Please don't kick my lens. Let's put that underneath the table. What you come to find is product photography really is a lot of uh, trial and error. So you're gonna try a bunch of things that may or may not work. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the use of texture. And for this example, we're gonna be using the Tioga Rise Instant Coffee. As you can see, this package is pretty flat, so it'll be fun to play with texture. Now, these Tioga Rise coffee guys are a client of mine, and I'm actually working on a documentary with them right now, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So because I know the branding of these guys pretty well, I know we're trying to market to the outdoor lifestyle crowd, so people like hunters, fishermen, that kind of thing. So we're gonna do this photo shoot outside. So I'll see you out there. All right, so we are set up underneath of a tent in my driveway, and we're gonna be using the bed of my truck for the texture. I have the spray-in bed liner on my truck, so that's gonna give us a really nice texture. If we tried to use that flat black round that we had before, it would look kind of boring with the flat coffee bag. So let me show you what I got set up over here. So as you can see, the bed of my truck has this really nice texture to it, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage. So I have my camp stove and my camp coffee pot. I'm gonna run inside real quick and grab uh, a, like a mug but I'm gonna use all of these props on the bed of the truck. And I'm gonna kind of play with like some of these bolts and stuff and the pattern and everything that's on the truck bed, really use this background to my advantage. Now, one more thing you'll notice is I'm actually not using that many props here, which brings me to point number three, let your product breathe a little bit. You don't need to be throwing a bunch of stuff into the image, only really use what you have to. Let the image breathe for itself. Sure, I could take this and add a bunch more stuff to it, but realistically, there's not a whole lot that would really need to get added to it that tells the story. I mean, we have the coffee itself, what the coffee is going into and what is heating the water up and then maybe, you know, something from the prep of breakfast or something like that. Sometimes all you need is just some color contrast. So you'll see that I have black in the background, brown neutral tones of the actual coffee, but then I'm using these brightly orange colored objects to kind of make the image pop a little bit. 
So before we talk about the last two tips, I just wanted to let you guys know why I decided to use the gear combination that I did for this video. I wanted you guys to kind of realize that you don't necessarily have to have the latest and the greatest fanciest gear to get good product shots. I've had this camera for two or three years now, and this lens, this 24 to 105 lens is at least 10 years old, and the same thing with my 50 millimeter 1.8. Both of those lenses are not new by any stretch of the imagination. However, if you do get to a position where you want to upgrade your gear, make sure you check out our listings over at gearfocus.com. We get a ton of new listings every single day, and there's a ton of different pieces of gear on that site. So if you're looking to make the next step up, head on over to gearfocus.com. Sorry, I had to put my sunglasses on because it's real bright out here. But the last thing that I want to talk about is the use of different angles. We've been taking mostly flat lays today, so let's try and mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the coffee again, and I'm also going to go back inside and get the watch, and I'm gonna see if I can find different angles here around my truck that I could use that are not flat lay. Now, last but certainly not least, we want to talk about lighting. This is probably the most important aspect to your product photos. If you don't have a good light, try to get towards a window in your house using the natural light is nice and diffused and can look really good. But the key here is you want to be using a good quality light source. If you can afford to have a softbox and, you know, a nice light, that is ideal. But if you can't, try to use your windows and maybe diffuse the light on your windows or something like that. Either way, you wanna have a nice, big, diffused light source. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you drop us a comment down in those comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to make it to 10K here on the channel. And as soon as we do that, we're gonna have a very, very special video for you guys. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, make sure you guys are staying safe. You're staying healthy. And remember, Gear Focus is always here to help you beat your passion. Peace.